Hello everyone and welcome back. It's nice to see everyone again. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Virgo for the week of July 25th through the 31st. And it's nice to see everybody return. Thank you for that. And I would also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up, subscribed, and left a comment. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. It lets me know that my work is being appreciated. So thank you again. All right, Virgo, let's see what the week has in store for you. Your first card out is <laughs> the Four of Pentacles. So hanging on tight. Trying to make your pennies count. You know, trying to make sure that you don't uh, make a quick, hasty decision here and, and uh, step out into the wild blue yonder. You know, making sure your bank accounts is in line. It's nice to know that. You have to, you know, make sure that everything lines up and all accounted for. You're just kind of a little bit worried about that you might not have enough here. But you do. You know, don't try not to worry so needlessly. You know, things are quite well. You have more than enough. You have a good steady income coming in. You know, loosen loosen your purse strings a little bit and try to enjoy your abundance. And the world card. So things are changing for sure. Uh, you've come to the finish line of something and you know you're you know you're in the right place at the right time and you're doing the right thing so in many ways you're starting over here you know there could be also uh, in the future you're thinking of maybe traveling abroad going somewhere different that you haven't been which is nice seeing a different part of the world enjoying the trips And the Five of Pentacles. So feeling like you're, you know, not being treated fairly. Nobody's listening to you. You know, you keep wondering and trying to put your best foot forward and nobody appreciates you. That sort of idea. So it's not a pleasant feeling at all. You know, we all wonder about what's going on in our futures with everything that's happening out there. And uh, maybe you're just getting tired enough that you're thinking of uh, moving on. Or maybe you're not listening to the advice that people are trying to give you. You know, there is lights there. There's, sometimes we just need to ask for help and, and uh, people are more than willing to give it. But we definitely need to learn to ask. And the hangman. So... You're feeling maybe a little bit trapped in something, you know, wanting it to uh, maybe feeling there's so, so many obstacles in your way. It's hard to uh, see which way you're going. So, you know, but he's not uncomfortable. So maybe you're just going to take a time out, uh, try to th see things from a the other person's perspective perhaps as well you're not as stuck as you seem changes on the way you know things are going to happen and the two of cups now this could be you know a friendship a relationship something new coming in for you um you know somebody that you thought was just just a buddy or a friend or and you get along with really well you see eye to eye you know you enjoy each other's company and it might turn into a little bit more you might have to uh you know might you know, well you don't have to but you might take it to the next level and the page of swords so clarity coming in you know there's a storm warning you know, some sort of blowout coming at you. Or may perhaps already has for some. Uh, this could be uh, a relationship that's starting to cool down. 
you're starting to see that, you know, it's not quite what you want in your life as well. And the nine of rods. So you've had to stand your ground. You've been through a lot of battles. You've had to defend yourself more times than you want. You know, people don't quite just want to understand or maybe they just don't understand. And you're very tired of having to always feel like you're, you um, always have to be on guard. And the Knight of Swords. So definitely something's being some sort of travel, you know, is coming in as well. This could be a, a fast, uh, um, unexpected trip coming for you. And it's usually by air, you know, or it could be even uh, excitement of some new um, upheaval in a relationship. Cools off, you know, it could be a friendship or something. You're just tired of... Tired of it for whatever reasons. But, you know, I'm thinking perhaps this is more a fast trip. But this is, you know, this is for different many people. And a temptress. So, most definitely, you know, things coming in. You know, as you begin to accept others, others will, you know, accept you as well. So you're feeling, you know, good about yourself. Um, you're feeling healthy. Uh, you're feeling harmonious with yourself. You got a little bit of more peace of mind this week. A little more understanding. You know what you have to do to, to um, go forward with your life. You know, what's expected of you. Um, maybe perhaps you're going to hear from somebody in the family that you haven't heard from for quite a while. You know, somebody that's just went about their own life. And the fool. So I'm thinking of taking a leap of faith in something. Trying to get things to move forward. You know, some sort of blind trust. Just be careful, you know, walk to where you're walking. You know, don't take a leap of faith without knowing where it's going. You know, make sure all your bills are paid and... You know, try not to uh, get overly carried away. Take care of yourself. Maybe it's even time that you're going to make a move. Now that could be a move in a job or a move of residence as well. And the two of swords. So right now you're just not making a decision on anything. You're just sort of sitting there. Trying to figure out which is the best way to go. You're, you know, you're just sort of being blindfolded and guarded. Um, you're trying not to make a decision one way or the other because you're afraid. And that's natural. Ah. And justice. So that could be um, a card that could refer to court cases, divorce cases, settlements, or sometimes a legal contract as well. Uh, something that you have to get a little clarity on. Uh, perhaps it's time to like, clear out your, your thought process so that you uh, can move forward in your life. You know, settle old debts, accounts, that sort of stuff. Maybe somebody owes you some money. Maybe you owe them some money, that sort of accounts. Or something that you feel that you have to pay back to somebody. And the Ten of Cups. So you're quite content. You have, you know, a happy home. You're uh, looking at your prospects. You have, you know, food on the table, roof over your head, getting along well with the family. You know, everybody's having sunshine and roses, which is nice. And then along comes the Five of Cups. So... You're up in your head a little bit this week, wondering, you know, could I, would have should have, you know, should I said that? Should I have let that go? Maybe if I would have handled it a little bit different. Um, is this all I have? 
but as you can see, that is not true. You know, there's more behind you, more to, more to look forward to. You know, the rivers are still flowing in. There's always still new things coming in in your life. So try not to uh, spend too much time there, you know, having remorse over what you're glad is gone. And the Knight of Cups. So an invitation, good news coming in. Now, you know, this could be a trip for yourself. Maybe you're thinking of taking a canoe ride or a cruise line or a sailboat. Or usually it's, you know, some sort of trip to some place that you've wanted to go for a while. And uh, you're quite happy to do it. Maybe you're going to meet uh, on that trip. You might meet somebody that you guys spark each other's interest. And the Three of Pentacles. So people are starting to realize just what an asset you are and what you bring to the table. And this is in your job. Uh, people are starting to realize that you have way more to offer than what they give you credit for. And they're starting to notice it and wish, you know, either asking you to teach others or, you know, be a mentor to some. You're quite proud of yourself. You make your job look easy, you know, because you're thorough at it. And uh, maybe they're coming to you to start mentoring or teaching. Just make sure you get paid for it. All right, I'm going to pick you and deal an angel oracle card and see what kind of clarity else we got on this week. But it looks very good. Looks like you're to do some traveling here. You know, a little bit of remorse, you know, looking back on things. You're going to have to make some decisions. But definitely looks like you're happy home and you're getting along with the family and, you know, good times coming in, which is always lovely. All right. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. Oh, that's lovely. It's always nice to feel that you're not alone in this world. All right, Virgo. On that note, I will say goodbye for now, and I will talk to you next week. Till then, stay safe, stay happy, and bye for now.